So how is all of this that you've done being on tour and being in the entertainment business, how do you think that's affected your personal life and your relationships? Well, that's, that's a really good question. I, I, uh, you know, I'm a little late to the game. I mean, as you, as you pointed out, uh, you know, I, I, I did start playing music when I was 18, but my first record didn't come out until 19. That was in 1976 when I was 18. My first record came out in 1986 when I was 28. And I thought to myself then, I thought, well, I'm way too old for this. I, this is, this will never work. I mean, I'm glad I have, I'm glad to have a chance to make a record, but, but this is probably going to be it because I'm way too old. Um, I had my uh, first children when I was 59 years old. And, and uh, so I, beca I became a dad uh, not quite four years ago, uh, right. twins, a boy and a girl. And, uh, you know, in, in a way, this, this, uh, during, the, during the pandemic, being, being home solid for more than a year has been one of the just richest years of my, of my life. My wife and I have been married a, a shorter time than we've been together, but but uh, it, it was because of music that I met her, and and uh, so I you know you never know how things would turn out if you had done something else. But I am uh, grateful. I'm grateful for the way this worked out, and I'm so grateful to have a have a chance to be a to find out what being a dad is all about, even even at even at the age of a granddad. You know. Yeah. What a great time in children's lives to be able to shape those personalities and shape those relationships. You know, people always say that kids grow up so fast. You've had that opportunity to really be there and spend that time with them. Well, it is, and it is true. I can't believe how quickly the last four years have, have gone. Uh, my, my parents both work, as I said, and, and uh, they would leave home to beat traffic into Houston at 5.30 or 6 in the morning, and they'd get home every evening at about 6.30. And, and I'd spend every day after school with one of my relatives, my grandparents or my aunts and uncles who all, who all lived within walking distance uh, of, our, of our house. And, and uh, so I had a wonderful support system to grow up with. And, and my parents, when they were off work, because they were gone half of the day every day, when they weren't at work, they never did anything without me. I can I can count on one hand the number of times that I might have had to stay with my my grandparents when they went out for the evening. They just didn't do that uh, on a regular basis, and and uh, we just did everything together as a family. Uh, since since our children were born, I've been flying home on days off uh, when I'm on tour, but but in general I'm home more than I'm on tour anyway. So I, I, uh, when, I've, when I'm home, I'm really home and I really get to be with them. This last year of getting to be with them every day is just something I would never have anticipated. And, and because it's the pandemic, we, we haven't had any, any folks helping us. It's just been my wife, April, and me and the two of them. And uh, it's two on two is definitely outnumbered, by the way. But, oh, of course. <laughs> but but it's, uh, it's just been fun from morning to night. You know, you were married for a short time to Julia Roberts, and this was in the 90s. Were you a lot more prepared to be married this time around? Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I, uh, April is younger than I am, and, and uh, 17 years younger than I am. And, and uh, when we first met, she was 21 years old. And I tried to reassure her by telling her, I may be older, but I'm very immature. <laughs> and, and so I, I think, uh, I think that's, that uh, she's ahead of me still in, in the maturity factor. But, but uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, being married and, and, and uh, be, being, I tell you, this, this having children thing, I know people have talked about it before, but it's a big deal. And, 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 uh, it's for, for me, I, I, you know, I feel, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I feel a little ignorant really, uh, at, at, uh, uh, I mean, it's the kind of thing that you just have to experience to, to get it. And, and I remember my dad used to tell me one day you'll understand. And my, I lost my dad in 1999 and, and, uh, which also seems like just a couple of days ago, but, but, and my dad and I were very close, 
but uh, he would uh, he, he'd tell me one day you'll understand. And I think about those words, you know, every time that I, I get to pick up one of my children and, and uh, uh, that uh, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that April has stuck with me long enough to give me that chance, you know.